Is the new Garrett all-terrain dig pouch any good? Let's check it out. All right, hello, hello, everybody. How are you doing today? So today, we just got this bad boy in the mail. This is not a sponsored review whatsoever. I bought this thing with my own money, so I needed a new pouch because I've basically been using this thing since I started detecting. And though it, it has worked, I've been uh, running out of space. When you go out to the park and you get cans and iron and such, just quite... Not quite enough space in this thing, you know what I mean? So, let's take this bad boy out of here and see what we're working with. This thing caught my eye for a couple reasons, and let me show you why. All right, so the number one reason why this thing caught my attention was because of the mesh that it has at the bottom. I know that there's some uh, cheap generic pouches that also are similar to this. So when you go out to the beach and you're hunting in the water, the, the water can sift right through and soak in a lot of the sand. So this is definitely a big improvement on storage capacity. Can fit a good amount of iron and cans in there. Uh, you know, if we find a big old piece of iron or something, probably ain't gonna fit in there, but that's okay, that's okay. So we got the main compartment up here. Overall, it feels pretty sturdy. This stuff feels like very strong. I don't think it's gonna break unless, I don't know, we're just gonna have to take it out. That's the thing about this. I don't know how it's gonna hold up until we're actually out there using it, but got a secondary compartment up in here. It's another uh, mesh liner, so all your sand and stuff too, I think, is going to be able to sift through here. That's a big issue I have when I get home, take everything out of the pouch. I have a huge pile of sand with all my stuff, so... And we got this little pouch right here. This will probably be like my battery compartment. So I have a few things that I usually bring with me. Uh, my batteries for my GoPro, my pin pointer. I bring like a little magnifier. So this should be okay for that kind of stuff right in there. And then we also have in here, we have a little uh, like a lanyard clip. So if we ever get some rings out there, baby, we'll clip them on to here and put them in this secondary pouch. So I think the secondary pouch is going to be good for like our uh, better finds, our coins and such, potential rings. And then this is going to be like the trash pouch. And then another big reason I got this was because it had a spot for the pin pointer. So this is an upgrade I did not too long ago to this little fanny pack, cheap $10 fanny pack. Uh, it's kind of like a little, I don't know, it's a secondary case that I put around the strap, but it held my pin pointer okay, but uh, I think this one might just do a slightly better job of that. So let's see. Let me just start off by saying it has a lot of belt to work with here. So if you got a bigger waist, if you got a bigger belly, this thing should fit you no problem. It feels pretty good to be honest with you. Super light. It's like it hugs you. I had one that like came out a little bit more and for me, I don't like those ones that come out too much because when I'm going to bend down and stuff, they, they personally kind of get in the way for me. But this one seems pretty good so far, man. So we'll have to take this baby out, give it a test drive, huh? We'll use it out at the beach and the park. I mean, this is going to be our new go-to pouch. So as long as it works okay, you'll see this baby more often. So here's the setup. I think that uh, I'm going to keep this little secondary belt over here on my uh, belt loop here with the pouch because I like having this. I, like I said, I put a lot of my batteries in here, put like this little loop in there, put our little, uh, you know, little scrubby scrubby baby right there. And also this fits my phone. So this is a good little phone compartment for me. But uh, we're going to go out there. We're going to do some digging here real soon with this baby. So we will let you know how it works. Appreciate you guys stopping by this quick one. Let me know what you think of the look of it. You think it looks all right? You think it'll hold up? Because that's going to be the real test. We'll see if it can actually hold up. But first impressions, I actually really like it. I think they retail for somewhere around $30 or $35. I was going to get one a couple weeks ago but they were sold out but they got them back in stock now so appreciate you guys we'll see how this baby works we're gonna try to fill it up next time we go out so i'll see you real soon